In this session, we are going to see how to add UI text field using Interface Builder. Let's start by creating a new project and name it as UI text field. Open the iPhone XIB file. For adding text field using Interface Builder, first drag and drop the text field object from object library to the view. We can resize the text field size or reposition it the way we want it to be. Inside the text field, we can set the text using its text property. There are various attributes of the text field which we can modify. If we change the border style, the appearance of the text field changes. Placeholder text Background Text alignment, etc. As we can see, it includes the border style. We can set the placeholder text in the placeholder section. We can also set background image in the background section. The aspect ratio of the text field object can be set in the aspect ratio section. Text field also has provisions for capitalization, correction, keyboard type, appearance, and return key type. Let's run the application and see the effect of the features that we have added. Since this is a text field, keyboard will by default respond to it, and we can type input using the keyboard to it. We have to implement the delicate methods of the text field to handle events to the text field. It can be done by adding the UI text field delicate class in the extend section of the interface file. Next step is to link the delegate of the text field added in the XIB to the file's owner of the class. Now implement the text field should return method to make the keyboard disappear on touching the return button of the keyboard. Let's see our code in action. As we can see, when we press the return key and the keyboard, the keyboard goes out. We can also see the effect of the capitalization property set to all characters. The return key can be changed to look as done button in the return key type section. We can set the clear button to where it is always visible to show the clear button always in the text field. If we run the application, we can see the close icon at the right end of the text field.